my friends. It's a, a real honor to be here this evening. I want to begin by acknowledging uh, the Treaty Six Peoples and uh, the Métis for allowing us to be here this evening to have this uh, conversation. The 150th anniversary of Confederation, Canada's origin story. The 150th anniversary of Confederation is upon us. The starting point for nationwide celebrations of this very important anniversary is Canada's or origin story. Namely, that we are a nation founded by two founding peoples, the French and the British. Confederation is being held up as a monumental achievement, forming our Canadian identity as a nation, as well as providing the foundation for the free and democratic nation we believe ourselves to be. In that constitutional framework, British and French languages, religions, systems of law, and cultures are protected for all time. So what is missing from this story? The contributions to Canada from indigenous peoples are missing as we too were founders of Canada. Canada would not have been formed in 1867 had the indigenous peoples not made the fur trade possible. Our contributions sustain the, this part of our economy for 250 years. But by far, the most important contribution to the formation of our country were our treaties. Treaties that resulted in the take up of the most valuable and richest land for settlement and resource development. The treaty relationship underscored the idea that peace, peaceful coexistence was the central theme in the relationship between Canada and indigenous peoples. In 1876, shortly after Confederation, Parliament passed the Indian Act, a prohibitive, racist, discriminatory piece of legislation that not only ignored our contributions, it denied the integrity of our peoples. It subjugate, subjugated us as wards of the state. It essentially made us non-citizens in our own country. Ever since then, we have been on the outside looking in, not a part of confederation, not even full citizens. We have no language protection, no protection of our laws, no protection of our cultures. So how do we tell the true origin story of Canada? The true origin story can only be told if Parliament, formally, through legislation, recognizes that there are three founding peoples of Canada, the British, the French, and the indigenous peoples. So what would this accomplish? It would set the record straight. It would make Canada whole. And the correct and, the correct and powerful narrative of Canada's origins will become part of the shared story of every Canadian for generations to come. It will open up possibilities for genuine and lasting reconciliation. Finally, it would be a moment for the ages that all Canadians, including our peoples, could finally celebrate in the truest sense of the word, the founding of Canada, our country. So how can people participate in this act of reconciliation? And this is a, a plug for the work that we're doing. Commit to making it happen by signing on to the website recognition2, the number two, action.ca. There you can sign a petition, donate, connect your networks, put your logo on the website, tell your friends and neighbors, form groups, have meetings, Contact your members of parliament, contact the prime minister's office, contact the minister of Indian affairs, contact the minister of heritage, contact the justice minister, 
Indeed, contact all members of Parliament to tell them that you want the origin story of Canada to reflect our true history. Not this distortion that, we, that has been imposed on all Canadians for too long. It is time to act. If not now, when? Thank you.